how would you cope if your ability to walk was taken away from you just like that? I've lived at Abigail Close for nearly 10 years. I moved here when I was 19. Social services moved me here and with the sole purpose of me being more independent. You know, I've been able to go to college, to university, go out with my friends. You know, have my own life like anyone else my age would do. I do get the occasional, when I'm in town, people staring. It's just like, yeah, hi, guess what? I'm a person and my mind's fine. I need to support getting dressed and washed. I put my own makeup on. I do need help doing my hair. I do all my own shopping. I uh, buy my own clothes and things. I basically just need support getting into them. Now, because um, these changes are about to be put into place, um, things are going to be a hell of a lot different, like getting meals, getting ready in the morning, even getting to the toilet. You know, I'd still want to have a life. I'm still a young girl. I've actually been told by a social worker, well, life isn't perfect for anybody. Maybe not. My life isn't perfect even with my care package, but I'm not asking for perfection. I'm asking to live a normal life. I'm scared. I'm scared of what's going to happen. I'm scared of what they're trying to put in place. I'm very depressed. I really, I really am terrified and I just want them to think about what they're about to do. Think, put themselves in my shoes. You know, you are taking away somebody's life. I d really don't think I'll be able to survive. I care.